<laughs> so I'm John Lee. I'm the uh, Director of Product Management for Comtrade Software. And uh, you met Robert earlier. And so we're going to talk about connecting the dots. And I've heard a lot of uh, comments about um, linking the application to the infrastructure. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about here. So, um, you know, we're going to be talking about connecting the data between the MPs. And we're going to go through several use cases here in terms of uh, Citrix Nutanix, F5 Nutanix, and also um, Exchange and Nutanix. So very quickly, you know, Bogdan already talked about, you know, with the, uh, when he talked about the Nutanix management pack, and, um, and Milan also with the uh, F5 management pack, that, you know, there's many different layers that we're talking about in terms of the Citrix workload, which is a very common workload on the uh, Nutanix device. And so you have an ADC, you have the Zen app, <coughs> the uh, Zen desktop, and you have the Nutanix infrastructure driving those. Because, um, you know, the Netscaler or the uh, F5 can also be running on Nutanix. Also, you have the uh, enterprise workloads. Oops, jump too far. Uh, the enterprise workload, so again, you can have an ADC there. Then you also have your Microsoft applications, you know, SharePoint, Exchange, uh, Skype for Business, and also SQL. And so there's management packs for all of these, but how do people today go and correlate this information? So just very quickly, what we're going to do <coughs> is talk about how that's done. And uh, so you'll have an administrator. So he's going to go and uh, connect it to Citrix MP. Right? And so he's going to go and look and find information that within the uh, uh, Citrix management pack. And we want to take a look at the infrastructure. Well, he's going to get some key, um, uh, key attributes about the Citrix environment and about the Nutanix environment. He's going to pull that back and then he's going to go over to the Nutanix Manage Pack. So with the Nutanix MP and then he's going to use his domain expertise and go and take a look at what's going on inside the Nutanix Management Pack and try to correlate, you know, what are the attributes he pulled from the Citrix Management Pack to go and find out what's the infrastructure that's running it. Now with the app awareness, he can go and take a look at the, uh, um, the, serve, or the virtual machines and the, and the clusters that are running the, uh, the Citrix environment, but there's some manual processes that he has to put together in his head. So our thing is, our idea, is let's simplify this process because we have the domain knowledge and we have the expertise and we can build on top of what we've done with the uh, app awareness. And so instead of connecting up to those particular management packs, we build a Citrix super pack. So now the administrator can talk to that Citrix super pack and get an idea of what's going on and much better visualization because we've correlated, we've taken that domain expertise, that domain knowledge, and started to build real solutions for the end user to answer questions that he has about the environment. So this really simplifies his job because he just has to, he can go through that Citrix super pack and get ideas. Now that's not saying that we're going to, he's going to eliminate going to the Citrix management pack or eliminate going to the Nutanix management pack, but this is one additional uh, layer here that he can look at higher level visualizations of information to go and solve problems. So, and again, it's about correlation and because SCOM can be, there's a lot of stuff to look at in there and again, Having a little bit correlated and consolidated views are very important. That's why, hence, super packs. <laughs> so is that what a, a super pack is? I'm not actually aware of that term. Is that just a, a view It's a new aggregator? concept. It's a new concept we're putting together. and We've put a label on it, just calling it a super pack. Yeah. Is it its, man its own management pack with its own views that yes. happens to grab It'll, things from other ones? Right. Okay. And I'll show you some screenshots coming up here so of what we're putting into the, the, um, the super packs. So... 
you know, what, what it is is, you know, basically I've described what we're looking to do here with the Citrix Super Pack and uh, taking that <coughs> Citrix Management Pack and the uh, Management Pack for Nutanix and feeding that up into a Super Pack. Again, solving some real specific use cases so that the administrator doesn't have to go and try to correlate that data together themselves. And then we're uh, doing an F5 Super Pack and then also an exchange. So let's go take a look at some specific use cases. And so here's one for, um, for Citrix. And so what we have is we're taking a look at the sessions within Citrix. And the question is, okay, as the number of sessions increase, what is that doing to the Nutanix infrastructure? What's, how are the resources being impacted by the, uh, the increase or the load that you're putting on your Citrix environment. So now we, because we know the Citrix site, we know which cluster is supporting that particular site, and we can get CPU and memory and latency information and be able to present that, and we can also take a look at the number of events that are, have occurred within the environment. And so we're correlated, so very quickly with the single pane of glass, you have a, um, a, a consistent view of Citrix and the Nutanix infrastructure. And also you can take a look at the top VMs that you have within the environment. So the administrator doesn't have to go and start diving around between flipping back and forth to make sure he has all the information to build this and put up separate screens. It's a screen that's built for you. <coughs> Let's take a look at another use case. And so a session alert comes in for Citrix. It's the high CPU usage. So the question is, is this just a one-off? Are there other VMs, other users, other desktops that are having close to you know, the problem, you know, they're near that threshold? And so, but you haven't this one particular alert. So you take a look at that particular alert, but you want to take a look and compare what those, that resource usage is against everything that's going on with that particular delivery group. Are other users having that particular problem? Is this just a one-off? Well, the Citrix management pack, we can identify the user so does this user just need to be moved to a different workload within the environment, or is this something we need to go in with Nutanix and assign more resources to that particular template that's used for that group of users? So very quickly, you get the information of what are the top users within that delivery group and, and see what the overall performance is within the Nutanix environment. So any questions about Citrix use case? Yes. So are you just taking information from one management pack and another management pack and putting them side by side, or are you doing any kind of additional correlation or logic the, to actually? The goal of the, manage, the super pack is not to go and mine new data, but take data that's already there and combine it and, and answer some <coughs> specific use cases for the administrator. Okay, but, and, and are you doing any kind of correlation so that the right information is surfacing up immediately? Yes, as a that's the whole point of the super pack okay. is to build those linkages of the data because we have with the app awareness, we know what the uh, application or the, the VMs are associated with that site and for, um, for the Citrix environment. And so we can filter down to what's important and then pull up the metrics, the Citrix metrics and also the um, Nutanix metrics that address specific use cases. So is the next phase the mega pack? Yeah. <laughs> the, the pack that covers my F5, which is the application delivery controller for all of my Citrix components that sit on top, under, on top of my Nutanix components is yes. clearly that's the next phase. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because we'll and, have and then just a combination the, the, the of the phase following that is where you throw away SCOM completely <laughs> and actually build your own management product that does what probably what I might Open have Manage to used to do. Leave doing stuff with Microsoft, but okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, you know, SCOM is the infrastructure that enables us to actually correlate. And I think one of the rare infrastructures that enables to correlate stuff that it's not even your own product, right? Uh, so I think we benefited that here in the sense of really leveraging the stuff we do as an enabler, the Nutanix management pack. We added logic to really correlate, you know, directly specific VMs to a specific <coughs> workloads, and I think this is the, the breakthrough we are doing here from a perspective of monitoring and help, you know. That kind of reflects one of my theories about management products, that, that any management product from a management product vendor is a tool from which you build a management product, and that's, that's <laughs> what you're now actually doing. Right. 
Yeah, because you can do all this correlation yourself in SCOM, but it would be really hard. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Spend a lot of time building that up. It's building out those dashboards for your specific. And building the linkages between one widget to to yeah. to automatically impact the next widget, yeah. right? I don't that know impacts Bog, a third widget. I don't know if Bog didn't show you, but you can actually, when once you have identified a problem, you can do one click right into Prism, right into the page where you're going. Yeah. And uh, we, we must comment, so one of the enablers to do this, right, gluing, if you want, or correlation, is ability to discover the applications within the core Nutanix management pack, right? Without that, the, the job is much tougher, in a sense. So as we are able to discover the applications there, then the super pack concept actually is able to correlate directly the logical resources with the physical resources. And is this something you're working on, or what is the status is of in process being developed. In process, okay. Yeah. And then what's the commercial around it? Because there's significant incremental value adding the, um, the additional packs as you go. Well, and, super packs. Yeah, well, I'd rather not get into the commercialization of it right now, but um, uh, you know, talk with me after. And, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, this is something you know, we I, see has you, extreme yeah, value. You've answered my question. It's, it's not free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like Commodore Vanderbilt's yacht, if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, you know, the key is that we'll, we are still assessing that, right? It, the, yeah. the, the, there's a great value there. We are aware of it. And we got the yeah. same feedback from the end users and the channels. So, you know, uh, yeah. we're looking forward to, to put it on the market. Right? So. No. <clears throat> and then, you know, uh, one, just one more use case here and uh, an exchange use case. And so one of the things you want to monitor with your exchange is what's going on with your queue length there and what's going on with uh, your um, uh, latency, the authentication latency. And as your queue length is increasing there, why isn't the you know, infrastructure keeping up with that, right, with the, uh, with the requests? And so this is where you want, it could just be a spike, it could be a, you know, a trend. But you want to take a look at what's going on from the, you know, the exchange, discovered exchange environment that we've done with the app awareness, and then take a look at what the, the group members are, and then also say, what are the top VMs, and be able to correlate and take a look at what's going on in terms of performance of those particular VMs, and also look at what's going on in terms of the cluster latency. So again, a single pane of glass here, a single screen can give you that. Um, and because Oh, go ahead. The, the big thing with exchange is you can size it wrong. And the working set, and having that working set actually size properly on whether it's going to be on flash uh, or traditional spinning tier, exactly right. So again, you know, having, understanding those variables are very important for especially an exchange environment. So. Yeah. so just, you know, and just a quick wrap up. It's we're taking existing knowledge that's there and adding greater value on top of it by, you know, combining you know, metrics, but also domain knowledge that we have to address specific problems within the environment. And the questions that the administrator has, that they no longer have to go to two management packs, pull out some um, key information, and try to build those linkages together. Yes, they can do it, but the whole idea is to make it simpler for them, that they can get answers quicker and without having to um, uh, do a, several manual steps. So we're taking the great power that's within SCOM and adding more value on top of that by linking information and uh, providing answers to the administrators.